Hello, hello. Um, first of all, just going to share some happy mail that I received from my good friend Wilma. Thank you, Wilma. It's, I love it. I love it. I'm just going to quickly show you the craft items. I've got some cards, an envelope, some numbers, some letters. So I can have some fun with those. Got a couple of ideas, actually. Um, and then... These two absolutely awesome brushes. I'm loving these. So thank you so much for those. I, honestly, they really are lovely. I'll just move those back. And then some lace, which is going to be awesome dyed. I'm going to tea dye that or coffee dye that. Um, this awesome baker's twine. Some unusual colours. I've never seen these kind of colours before. These, This kind of rusty colour and the green. So I'm really looking forward to using those coming up for Christmas this year. And talking of Christmas, I've got these two absolutely amazing Christmas, Christmas ornaments. Now, they are Christmas ornaments, but I'm actually going to hang these from my shelf above my desk because they're just too lovely, aren't they? They've got to be out all year. And then finally, there's this. How amazing is that? I just love him. I love him. So he's going to be with my little fox collection on my desk where I can see him every day. I mean, look at that face. How cute is that? So, Wilma, thank you so much. I love every single piece of that. Okay, so let's get on to today's video. I am going to do what I think is a new covered paper clip. I'm calling them paper, paper clip slips because that's kind of what you do with them. You slip them on. <laughs> so I'm calling them paper clip slips. So I've I've done three so far to make sure they worked. My first prototype was a little bit of a disaster. Didn't work out quite as I planned. The second one, a little bit better, kind of like that. And then the third one, apart from my stitching wasn't great, it did turn out okay, apart from the fact I probably wanted that at the front. I'm not sure. The idea behind these was... Um, I was thinking about what we actually use paper clips for and we use them quite often to hang dangles off the side of our pages but they don't always hang nicely so the idea of this is you can put it on the side of your page and hang your dangle quite nicely but this is not too this is not a big paper clip or you could put it at the top of your page and have some little uh, fluff or some lace or something coming out of that uh, so again, it's not right on the top of that kind of metal paper clip. So that was the idea behind these paper clips. And like I said, I think I, I was laying awake at like two, three o'clock in the morning working this out in my head. But that doesn't mean nobody's done it before. There are thousands of paperclip videos. I tried to have a look this morning to see if anybody had made anything like this. I couldn't find anything. Um, so hopefully this is a new, it's certainly a new to me idea. I've got two pieces of paper here. Now this one is inches, this one is centimetres. So what you can do is either pause the video and write these down, but I will put the measurements in the description box down below. So these are the inches measurements and these are almost identical centimetre conversions. Let's get started. This is for a standard two inch paper clip, okay? They're kind of a little bit bigger than the small ones. You can obviously adapt this idea to smaller ones if you want, but this is for a two inch paper clip. I need a little bit of cardstock, my scoreboard and my paper trimmer. And we're gonna start with the paper trimmer. What I want to do, is start with some one and a half inch strips okay so one and a half inch strips and we need two to make one paper clip 
say one and a half inch strips now one i want to cut at two and three quarter inches so that's one and this one i want to cut to two and three eighths So we've got one and a half inches wide and this one is two and three quarter and this is two and three eighths. Now what I'm going to do is grab my scoreboard and I'm only going to put a very light score line. We want this portrait. I'm going to put a very loose score line at three quarters of an inch and I'll do that on each one of these. And I'm now going to fold these in half. And you can choose, obviously, if you're using a double-sided paper, you can choose which side you have. And I'm just going to give those a little, a little burnish. And you kind of want to decide which one you want to be showing. So decide which one you want. Now, I've got... A little piece of card cut, five eighths. So this is five eighths. You can measure obviously with a ruler, but I did this so I don't have to do that every time. I'm going to hold my little template to the top of my card. Just going to hold that there and I'm going to put a little cut, one half. You just want to go into the centre and you want it on the inside, the piece that you're not going to see. And then I'm going to trim that off. So we end up with a shape like that. I'm going to hold this against my other piece and this time use that as my template. And I'm going to cut that five eighths off again. Now I'm just keeping my little template on a paper clip so I don't lose that. So we have two pieces that look like that. I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit. So we've got our two pieces. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to round the edges of mine. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to fold it up and just round each corner like that. And I'm going to do the same on this piece. So now we have two pieces that look like this. I'll grab my ink and I'm going to ink my pieces like that. So we've got the outsides inked and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some stitching all the way round. You don't want to come too far in, okay, but I'm just going to put a row of stitching all the way round with it closed and I'll be back. So we've sewn them, they're all sewn, nice and neat. <laughs> I actually took my time over this. Um, I'm a little bit out here, um, but you take your paper clip and slide the big side into the larger slip, okay? And then you take the smaller side and you slide that on to the shorter side of your paper clip. Just gonna push that on. Okay, push that up as far as it will go. So these two pieces, so these two pieces will now meet. And if you look in there, you can see the paper clip tucked in there. Just line these up and make sure they're nice and level. Grab your glue, just open that. Hopefully you can see and just go round with your glue on the inside of that flap. And then we're going to hold that just so that glue dries. So you could decide, obviously, when you use your eyelets, you get a kind of a good side and a not so good side. Now, that's going to be upside down. 
that needs to go that way. So this is going to be a, a left hand paper clip or right hand side if I want to use that side as the front. Once you've got your charm on, it actually doesn't really make a lot of difference. Um, but I'm going to put my hole this side. So I'm going to put my hole in as lined up and neat as I possibly can. Add my eyelet. I'm going to grab a charm and a jump ring. So I've got my little squirrel here and my jump ring. I'm going to just open this up. And we all know you need to twist when you're using jump rings, not pull apart. Pop him in there. Slot that on there. And then close my jump ring like that so now I've got my little charm and my paper clip which can hang out of the side of a journal so I'm quite happy with that looks good both sides but obviously you've got that crushed jump ring that's her eyelet that side um but there there we go so um like I said I'm pretty sure this is a new idea I haven't seen anything this kind of slender and paperclip shaped. Um, that's what I'm calling it, paper, paper, paper clip slip, because it slips on. So there you go. Um, and this would make a fantastic mass make. You could put these on all sorts of journals. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could use this way up and you could add your trim. So you could attach this to the top of your journal and have at the top, or equally you could have a charm hanging out of the bottom of a journal. It doesn't really matter. Um, and if anybody has done this before me, um, I apologise for not giving you credit, but I haven't seen it. So there you go. I hope you like that. So that's my quick video for today. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye.